It's got a label on it says Whirlpool. It's very popular in South Africa. Um, and it's got a little PC board. You can adjust the temperature by pushing these buttons. Um, and on the inside, they've got a cold plate. There's a fan motor and a little light switch. And this is the little button that switches the light on and off. Now, we get a lot of these PC boards that fail. And they are available but very expensive. So I'll show you how I um, repair these fridges without using the PC boards. Um, this cover here has got two little clips on the inside. If you put a screwdriver in there, you just loosen it. And then this cover comes off. And the PC board is in the top there. This is the electronic PC board that's faulty. There's a couple of wires connect to it, connected to it. Um, this is your light switch. And there's two wires here that goes to the sensor that's inside. The light holder inside. There's a fan motor, power wires and the wire for the compressor is all connected from this PC board. What I've done is I've mounted a thermostat here made by Danfoss, a normal two-door fridge thermostat. Inside this blue sleeve the capillary runs and I stick it through this hole where the suction goes through. I connected two electric wires to the thermostat that runs down to the compressor and what I've done is the two wires that runs from the PC board to the compressor. I've just broken one of them and I run it, the thermostat through that broken wire. <laughs> and then on the inside of the fridge, this is the cold plate. The suction comes through about there so that the thermostat capillary comes through. Here it is running behind the cold plate and I've just clamped it onto that. Okay. What I'm going to do now is this electronic board I cut all the wires off the board completely and there is 220 volt from the mains running up here. The two wires for the fan motor comes up here and the two wires for the light. So what I do is I put 220 volts on the globe through the switch. Nothing to do with the PC board so this switch will just operate the light. The fan inside I'll just put straight 220 on the fan Continuous operation fan runs day and night never switches off and then the wire for the compressor I put 220 on it down to the compressor at the back and That gets broken through your double door thermostat Once I've done this I'll run this fridge with a thermometer and we get a temperature reading and normally the double door thermostats The way it's set up it runs at a nice temperature, but every now and then we have to calibrate the thermostat to get the right temperature. But I'll connect the wires, we'll run it with a thermometer and take it from there. Okay, I've connected the wires on top here. Now you can see the light is shining. The fan motor is turning and it's starting to freeze on this plate. Here's the light switch. If I push it, the light switches on and off. And this is what I've done on top here. If you have a look, this is all the wires I've connected. This white wire I've just cut off because this is power to the PC board. PC board doesn't need power anymore. And these two blue and black, blue and um, brown wire is the sensor which I'll just leave here. It's, the sensor will never work again. And this yellow wire is for the light which goes to your light switch. So once we're together, we can just put this, this cover can just slide back on it and it will cover all the wires and none of these little lights will ever work again. Okay, this fridge has been running for about 45 minutes now. I've put a thermometer in, it's on 3.8 degrees. It's not quite cold enough yet, but the thermostat should be able to switch it off there. Uh, fan is still running, the cold plate is cold. Okay, so let's go to the thermostat behind it. I'll put a knob on just to make it easier. Now we rotate this knob slowly. And it doesn't switch off anywhere on the scale. 
except on the off position. So this thermostat is too cold. So I'm going to have to calibrate on the settings of that. We'll try that later. And another thing is, there is a wiring diagram behind the fridge. So if you want to know how I change the wires around, it's not in a language that I understand, but it shows you the picture of the wires and the colors of the wires. Okay, how I calibrate this thermostat? I have a little screwdriver. It's a torque drive. That size, I'm not sure what the physical size is. In line with the shaft at the bottom, you stick the screwdriver in and there's a little nut and you turn it clockwise to make it warmer. So I've turned about a half a revolution and now we just put a knob on and see if it can switch off. There, it switched off but it's very close to the off position. So I reckon another half a turn and then we should get that in the middle. There's another half a turn. When you do this, just be careful. These terminals are live. If you touch the screwdriver, you cause a short butt. This is how I calibrate these thermostats. Now the compressor is switched off and we just monitor it. All the ice on the plate must melt before it starts up. If not, there's a second screw where we can alter the defrost longer or shorter. Thank you. Okay, the compressor has been off for about two or three minutes now. I see the fan is still running and the ice is starting to melt on the plate. So it's busy defrosting. Um, this we call cycle defrost every time the compressor cycles. It should stay off until all the ice is melted. So I'm just going to leave it for another few minutes, see the compressor start up. And the ideal temperature we want 2 degrees or somewhere between 2 and 3 degrees Celsius in the middle of the thermostat scale. So I'll have a look at that. If not, we will do more calibrations on the thermostat. It's about a half an hour later now, the fridge, all the ice melted, it started up. Temperature is 2.3 degrees now. And I'm going to just turn on this thermostat. It's on the maximum position. And we turn back on it. And there. It switched off there. Now that's more or less in the middle of the scale. So what I do is I remove the knob completely. And then I'll just put a few zip ties on to tie this probe and the wire on. But... The way it is now, thermostats behind the fridge, the client won't even know. Temperature will be perfect and there's no electronics in this fridge.